So I guess Jaguar screwed up. <clears throat> I bought a 2010 XFR supercharged and the engine was damaged. Somebody put a hole in the radiator, kept driving it, burned it up, melted the block. So I bought another car and it's 2011 XFR. But coming to find out, we have different timing chains, two different styles, manufacturers, and I don't know if it was just 2010, they did this heavier duty one and switched in 2011, but I know there is a class action lawsuit against the Lion Rover and Jaguar right now. So I'm looking and I really don't want to replace this timing chain and the system they have because it fails. And been online and I've seen a bunch of them and I had the same problem here. This car with the heavy duty timing chain 2010 had 67,000 miles on it. The 2011 I bought had 87,000 miles on it. Both of them look, all look clean. Looks like they've been maintained well. I don't think that was the problem or the issue. I really think this was built in obsolescence, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead, rather than order a new chain, which is going to fail, and the system that they had with the tensioner plunger on there, it just was a bad design. And not to mention the fact the chain seems like it stretches out too, and I'll show you that real quick, because there's a lot more points intersecting here with the surface area as far as uh, chain wear compared to this stuff. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's just going to be a lot more durable. This one, like I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use it out of the 2010 engine that had melted down and switch it over, which means I got to switch out this shaft for the fuel pumps, the sprocket for the oil pump, the sprocket that's on the main crank and the guide systems and tensioners and the VCTs. All four of those are going to have to be switched out with the other car. That all looks good, so I think I'll be alright, but I'll show you here real quick what I'm talking about. Alright, this was going to be my replacement engine out of the 2011 FXR, and as you can see, the timing chain, the lower timing chain, this engine's upside down here, in case you're having a hard time. Uh, that timing chain only has two points on either side where it pivots, and this timing chain, obviously, with all those different webs in there, has a lot more strength and durability to it. As you can see, this is the gear I'd have to switch out. This is going to be narrower here than the other crank, and that's the reason I got to switch this out too, is this shaft with this sprocket. Now the 2010 engine that I'm replacing that melted down, somebody just kept driving it. As you can see, the steel sleeve in there is recessed from the top of the deck a little ways. It's pretty much still there, but obviously took out the aluminum. And uh, I don't know if a wet sleeve even is salvageable for that. I contacted somebody. They never got back to me, so I have a feeling it's probably not possible. So this is the drive for the fuel pumps that came off that engine block I just showed you out of the 2010. You can see what I'm talking about. The sprocket for the slower timing chain that drives the fuel pumps is definitely bigger, so I'd have to swap that out. I'm going to have to swap out the sprocket off of the oil pump off my old engine and put it on my 2011 engine I'm putting in. This is the timing system off the 2010, the timing chain, the uh, tensioner, tensioner rail and uh, the drive rail there. And as you can see for 67,000 miles, and I'll compare it to the other one in a minute, but you can see the point of contact this still looks really pretty nice. Uh, very good design. Uh, the plunger seems to work a lot better as well, the way it catches. Um, the one that I'm 
swapping out actually you'll see it got stuck in this housing because it's designed a little different I think it's really a bad design this timing chain once again is really healthy and uh, I compared it and it's definitely shorter than the other one it doesn't seem to have the slop the wear marks on it the teeth uh, even my VCTs that I'm going to be swapping out don't look too bad. They have a little bit of shine to them, but they look pretty good. I got to swap out this sprocket off the old crank, which again looks really awesome for the 67,000 miles. This sprocket definitely shows a little bit of wear to it. Uh, it's definitely not as in good a shape. Uh, neither of the VCTs there are actually showing some wear on the on the teeth on it as well. Um, so I'm find a place where you might be able to catch a glimpse of the shininess of it, but yeah, it, it had some wear. Okay, and so here's down to the point that really pisses me off. Uh, this is their timing chain. You can see, obviously, uh, there's only five total links in there: three on one, two on the next. Uh, this chain the point of surface there at the bend is nowhere near as durable as the other one so it does stretch and I think this is the biggest thing and I guess they're notorious for this but uh, this is the the hydraulic tensioner rail and if you look at it this is supposed to be flat by the way this shouldn't have this recess you can actually see where it's it's worn in down here into the case all right well this this tensioner actually when this was fully extended was actually stuck in there and when it stuck in this and embedded itself in there it didn't give it any room for any wiggle room side to side consequently this thing got stuck the uh, <laughs> mechanical ratcheting apparatus of it got stuck to the point that the hydraulic end of it is the inner inner cylinder the inner plunger there is actually hydraulic and it was working fully extended and still wasn't keeping tension and when I first opened this up the chain was very loose so yeah you can see uh, the other side that was the driver's side uh, you can see it wasn't quite as bad on the passenger side but still had a, a recess in there a really really bad design <laughs> Um, at 87,000 miles and it's that bad to where it's hardly even going to run okay guys what's up and just to confirm the fact that I don't believe this was an oil issue or lack of maintenance this is one of the VCTs for the exhaust off of the driver's side and it does have when you take this off there's a filter inside the cam uh, this filter looks just like it when I when I took it out, uh, I had to put a little hook in there and pull it, but it was very clean. Uh, didn't really see any issues there. Uh, this one has a hole in it now for my uh, pick trying to pull it out, but hopefully I got another one of those. So I guess where I'm at is before I'm going to plop down $400 getting new tensioners, tensioner rails, guide rails, uh, chains, sprockets, uh, maybe VCTs, but I think they'd work. Before I go plopping down that kind of money, uh, Atlantic British wants a thousand something for it. Totally outrageous. I just, at this point, I'll put the old stuff back in. It looks good. Y'all have a good day. I'll try and add another video on this thing when it's running.